When I came into this post three or so years ago, um, I was very struck by the uh, difference between the departments. I'd previously been a director in one of the services here. And sitting in a service department, you don't see as broadly as you do when you sit in this chair. And what I felt was that we had essentially different processes and standards across the council. We needed, for instance, to make sure that wheresoever you might touch the council, whether it was environment, whether it's social care, whether it's housing, the sort of service you got was underpinned by a set of values about respect for individuality, respect for our local residents, and respect for our staff. After the staff survey in uh, 2008, uh, we created a management pledge to our staff, which included a, a variety of initiatives to do with things like listening to staff through focus groups, managers understanding what they do through going back to the floor, the creation of uh, better facilities for staff, for instance, uh, our Alfresco dining area. We've also launched a program called Happy Healthy Here, which is a staff wellbeing program. Um, the other thing that we've done is use our Hillingdon Improvement uh, program uh, hip champions. The champions are a conduit, a communications link between us at the top of the organisation and the leader of the council and senior politicians. I think it's really nice to have things like Happy Healthy here and uh, things like the hip champions because I think it makes you feel really involved. It does make, I feel that if I go to one of those meetings or I go to one of the events that you can say what you think and also uh, you can have some input to what's going to happen in the council. It's really important for staff to be able to feed back up the chain because they feel engaged and not just feel engaged, they actually are engaged in any of the processes or the communications that come out. They can make real change, not just to the staff within the, within the council, but also to the residents and that's our key aim. We have seen tremendous results as a result of our focus on values and the value that staff uh, bring to any discussion about improving services. Um, there's definitely a buzz around the place. Pe morale is strong even in very difficult circumstances where the public sector is facing considerable difficulties. Our transparent and open approach with staff through our roadshows, telling them what's happening, telling us the approach we are using to that is meaning that when we ask staff for ideas about how we might manage our budgets more efficiently, we are getting the answers from back from staff. Well, the impact on the team of introducing the values is that they understand um, when they come into contact with residents exactly uh, you know, what they should be saying to them and how best to deal with them. And then that gives them a sense of satisfaction and they feel that they're helping the people out in the borough. I do think the council lives up to its values because they're trying to um, give the residents value for money and they're trying to streamline because we are really a business now and we have to um, have the residents best interest at heart. It does give you this feeling of um, everybody sort of working together as one council because they're really trying to, to do that and I do feel that they are achieving it. 